The teddy bear, Max. <laughs> he just loves that teddy bear that Grandpa Philip bought for him. I took him to Philip's office yesterday for a checkup. You should have seen the look on his face when Molly gave him the injection. Oh, did he cry? No. My dear little boy just looked up at me as if to say, Mama, what are they doing to me? Oh, help. <laughs> How did you feel? To tell the truth, didn't you feel terrible? I sure did. I held him closely. I kissed the top of his dear little head. He looked up at me. He tried to smile. Being with him helped. Helped him or helped you? Being a mother is not easy, if that's what you mean. Speaking of being a mother... I've been meaning to ask you what you were thinking about regarding going back to work. I know Rita may call. I can imagine what is going through your head. I'm sure you can, Ellen. There are so many things to consider. One thing that makes it easier for you is that, is that you have us. Max will always have a family member to watch over him while you're at work. I didn't have that when Richard and Susan were born. What did you do? I chose to continue with my career as a music teacher. We hired a woman to watch Richard and then Susan. And I continued with my career. Do you think you made the right decision? I think I did. But when Robbie was born, I decided to give full-time attention to raising Robbie. I felt differently at that time. And you gave up your career as a music teacher? Not exactly. I continued to teach piano lessons at home. How did you feel about being away when Susan and Richard were babies? I think I did the right thing. For them and for myself and for Philip. We needed the money, remember? Well, we do too, Ellen. Everything I earn helps us towards getting that house we want and need. I can't wait till he's just a little older. Our toy company makes the most wonderful toys for kids. <laughs> Max thanks you, I thank you, and Richard thanks you. Now, may I please say hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Oh. I miss Max and think about him all week long. We talk about him at dinner time. Oh, will you please try to relax? I've never seen you so wound up. <laughs> seem to be enjoying the pressure. The truth is, I am. My job is not an easy one, but I really enjoy it. That is exactly what I wanted to talk to you about, Susan. What's the problem? Marilyn's career. Well, my choice of careers. Choice? <clears throat> my career as a fashion designer versus my career as a mother. Well, why does it have to be one or the other? That's what I said. How's that? Why can't you do both? She's right. Both. Well, that's what I do. I have a job, and I have Michelle. I take care of both to the best of my ability. It's not easy, but what is? And that's what I did. I did both with Richard and Susan, and I did both with Robbie. I thought you stayed home with Robbie. I did. But I was lucky enough to have a career as a music teacher, which I could continue at home. Why can't you work at home, Marilyn? You're very talented. Designing dresses is a career you could establish out of your home, couldn't you? I don't know why I didn't think of it. It seems so simple now. <laughs> For a year or two, I could stay at home with Max and do my dress designs. And you could make your dresses at home. Sounds like a great way to solve the problem. <laughs> that could solve your problem, Marilyn. 
I'm going to call Rita May at home and ask her to come by and talk about it. She wants to see Max anyway. I think that really answers your questions, Marilyn. You can do it. Do your designs at home. Here. And let Rita May do the selling at the boutique. And you can both benefit financially. I'm going to call Rita May right now. Oh, Susan. Thank you so much for coming all this way from the city to talk to me about it. I hope you don't mind having taken so much time away from your busy schedule. Are you kidding? I don't mind at all. As a matter of fact, I came to spend some time with my favorite nephew. Mm -hmm. I think you should call Rita May right now. I think your idea of working at home is perfect. I don't know what I would do without you. I'm lucky to have you all. Huh. We are lucky to have you, Marilyn. <laughs> And so is Max. <laughs>